For native speakers, we link sounds together. In English, there are five vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and 21 consonants. And it's important to remember that what is, uh, what is uh, looked at is the sound, not the letter, uh, not the spelling for linking. So university is a vowel sound, uh, sorry, is a consonant sound that has a vowel spelling U, but the sound is Y, Y. So in, so in native speakers, we link words together. So for example, can I have, or, or non-native speaker would say, can I have a piece of it? And a native speaker would say, can I have a piece of it? Or quite fast, can I have a piece of it? Or even very fast, can I have a piece of it? And if you're not a native speaker, you wouldn't understand what they're saying if you didn't know about this and it's too fast to understand. Other examples are, what is on the top of it? What is on the top of it? Or a little bit slower, what is on the top of it? Non-native speaker would say, what is on the top of it? Or another one is, can I have a bit of this? Can I have a bit of this? Where is a book about air? Uh, where is a book about air? Where is a book about air? Quite fast, or a bit slower maybe. Where is the book about air? And even still, there are some links. Also, there are other links to go on, uh, vowel to vowel. If uh, when we finish the first sound, uh, our lips are like a line, then uh, we would uh, add in a Y. So the T is, the T is, or if our lips are a circle, uh, we would say um, go win. So adding a Y, adding a W. So this is a very useful area of English. Not many people study it uh, as many as I thought would, but at quite high level. And it's very important and it will help you to understand and even for maybe for others to understand you better.